It's been an historic day here in Narawakia as Kingi Tuatia was formally laid to rest and a new Māori monarch named. Thousands of people gathered at Turanga Waiwai Marae from the early hours of the morning to join in Karakia and Waiata to farewell the Māori King. Just supporting the kaupapa really means a lot, like especially as a rangatahi uh, and for my culture and just to support everyone here and just for the you know the kaupapa, the main kaupapa, I think it's good that even if you're not from here or whatever you should still try attend these kaupapa. Kingi Tu Heitia brings us here today, we wanted to come here and be with all the people, it's beautiful, I love, I love it, it's brought all the people out, yeah I love it. I'm from uh, Kaitumutumu and uh, some of my family are from this area and also to pay my respects to uh, the king. Just to see our Māori people here and all come together and what he done for all the people as well. Tuatia's youngest daughter, Ngāwai Hono e Te Popaki, was named as the new Māori Queen before she joined the river procession. Watched by masses of people along the riverbank, Tuatia was carried to Moanga Topuri by the historic Tatahi Orawaka. Others gathered to board buses and trains to the mountain where hundreds performed a mighty haka to lead the casket up the Moanga. The king was buried next to his ancestors. Despite some tears being shed, it's been far from a sombre mood here today. Blue skies setting the scene for a day which carried a sense of celebration and hope. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest New Zealand Herald news, click the subscribe button below or check out one of these videos. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more news worth knowing.